Come have a seat in the Scald Circle and hear the tale of The Fox and the Skunk, as told by Manogan. Before we begin our tale, did you know that we release new stories for free every week on Wednesdays? Be certain to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Spotify, Podbean, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. That way, you'll never miss out when we release free bonus stories other days of the week. Never forget, visit thescaldcircle.com to stay up to date with all of our current happenings, and to also visit our story archive, sorted by origin and region. Now then, this begins a tale of the fox and the skunk. One day, once upon a time, Mr. Fox slipped into a watermelon patch and stole a melon. He saw Mr. Skunk coming, so he ran and climbed a tree to hide and eat his melon. But Mr. Skunk walked right under the tree and spoiled Mr. Fox's melon. I shall get even with Mr. Skunk for spoiling my watermelon, said he, and down he jumped from the tree. He was so angry that he ran up to Mr. Skunk to have a battle with him. Very soon he found that he could not whip Mr. Skunk, so he decided to make friends with him. They walked along together for a short distance, and then Mr. Fox looked up and said, It is going to rain. Let me make a bag to put you in, Mr. Skunk Man, to keep you dry. I can find a hole somewhere for myself. And the fox made a bag for the skunk. All the time he was making it, Mr. Skunk was jumping around singing and dancing with joy. When it was finished, Mr. Skunk crawled in and Mr. Fox tied him in and fastened him up to the limb of a tree. Then the fox picked up a handful of pebbles and threw them over the bag to make the skunk think that it was raining. He took another handful of pebbles, then a handful of larger rocks, and then still larger rocks, until he threw big rocks that hurt Mr. Skunk. Ouch! he cried. But Mr. Fox threw bigger and bigger rocks until he had bruised Mr. Skunk all over. Then he left him to get out the best way he could. Now, said Mr. Fox, I can have all of the watermelons I want, and there is no one to spoil them. And he trotted off for another melon. But while Mr. Fox was selecting his watermelon, an Indian boy who owned the patch came along and pierced him with an arrow. And to this very day, Mr. Fox carries the scar from the arrow in his right front shoulder. And that is the story of the fox and the skunk. Thank you for listening to our story. If you enjoyed it, please take a look at our Patreon page to learn how you can earn great rewards while also supporting us. We appreciate even the smallest of contributions, as they allow us to continue to release new stories every week for free on Wednesdays, and also provide bonus stories for your listening pleasure. Visit us at thescaldcircle.com to view our story archive, sorted by origin and region and to stay up to date with all of our developments. A special thank you to Kat for their support this month. It means the world to us. Once again, thank you for listening to our story.